Hello everyone, as our video tutorial on Entity Framework is built on Visual Studio 2010, you need not to do any separate things apart from our tutorial video steps. Now, if at all you are working on Visual Studio 2012, with latest version of Entity Framework, here are few settings that you need to perform once you generate your Entity Data Model or you can say your EDMX file. So you need to perform two steps. One is right click, go for the properties and say code generation strategy to default and save this. And in your organization model dot edmx hierarchy, you will find two files with tt extensions that is dot tt simply delete those files now you can rebuild the project and you can see that everything is successful and you can go for organization entities and you'll find all the things as usual So these are the two steps that you need to perform if at all you want to work with Entity Framework on Visual Studio 2012. Now what are these TT files? How can we work with these TT files? All these things we can see in our advanced tutorial. Thank you very much.